wanna do now is making it last. Fathers and fathers, sisters and brothers, friends forever, strengthening the ties that keep us together. Fathers and fathers, sisters and brothers, friends forever. Strengthening the ties that keep us together. It's time for another conversation. Welcome to the Making It Last podcast. I'm your host, Noreen Daly. And with me this time around is Dr. Janice Stewart. She's a licensed psychologist, a mother, a wife, trained in the areas of counseling and educational psychology, among other things. And one of the things that she said that really stood out for me is she has a passion for young people. For those of you who know me, I believe that is something that I believe God has called me to in some way help to empower them. So that's one of, I'm sure, several things we have in common. But what we'll be talking about this time around is how can one be sensitive to individuals with mental health challenges but this time it's from the therapist perspective. Dr. Stewart. Thank you for having me. You know, I am going to give you some tips okay. as it regards being sensitive to mm-hmm. individuals with mental health challenges. Mm-hmm. But allow me to say that none of us is invulnerable to mental health challenges because mental health is on a continuum so we are either mentally healthy or we have a mental illness okay at the far end of the the continuum Mm -hmm. depending of on the life stresses that we're experiencing we can fall anywhere on that continuum and so as you would care for your physical health you should care for your mental Mental health. health because you can develop challenges over time if if the stressors in your life are so overwhelming and you're unable to deal with them appropriately. So none of us is invulnerable to mental health. I also want to say that the WHO said there is no health without mental health. Mm. I'm bringing this home before I share (laughs) how specific ways in which you can be sensitive to individuals with mental health illnesses. Uh, An inspired author, I wouldn't say her name right now, Mm -hmm. she shared that nine out of ten of our physical ailments originated in the mind. Mind. All right? Mm. So because we are not invulnerable to mental health challenges, Mm -hmm. We should learn how to validate people who are experiencing mental health challenges. So they might come up and, or it could be a family member, it could be a friend, and they're talking with us about their challenges. For that moment, it is what they're experiencing. It is what they are feeling. And validating them, not making fun of them, listening to them with an open mind, says to them, hey, Someone cares about Mm. me. And you don't have to approve of the behavior. You don't have to like the person. You don't have to agree with what the person is sharing with you. You're just saying, I'm here. Yes. You're just saying, you're important to me. And you're also, in your listening, you want to listen for ways in which you can use some of the very things that they're sharing with you to empower them. So you're listening to help. You're not listening to go gossip about that person <laughs> mm. or to you later use it as blackmail, you know, or discriminate against that person anyway. So the first thing I would say, validate that person. In psychotherapy, we would call that unconditional positive regard. Okay. Okay, and that's saying to the person, you're a human being. I respect you, your feelings, your way of handling this particular challenge at this time. Also, be non-judgmental. It could be you, you know. Don't make assumptions. So, for example, the person is experiencing, let's say now, panic attacks or anxiety, and they're sweating, Mm -hmm. shaking, nervous, thoughts are running 
and you expect the person to snap out of it. Yes. Mm? <laughs> you, the person might be sad and is speaking negatively and you might just expect the person to just get out of it. Be positive. Aren't you a Christian? And we said these <laughs> things to the person. Yes. This is really being <laughs> insensitive, you mm -hmm. know, or we might say to the person, you must forgive. At that point, the person is experiencing hurt. And it's not that the person may not be forgiving. Mm -hmm. At that moment, that's the best way that person knows how to deal with this particular challenge, talking about it. So instead of saying, get out of it, snap out of it, you're a Christian, learn to forgive, mm. you hurt too deeply, you know, just be there and say, oh, this is how you feel. I'm so sorry to uh, uh, about this experience yes. that you're having, what can I do to assist you? Is there anybody you, you think who could help you to get through what you're experiencing? Have you thought of doing this? And another thing I want mm. to say in terms of being sensitive to individuals who have mental health no challenges. challenges is do not play therapist with them, okay? That's not your role. <laughs> Because even if you are a therapist, you have to be careful that you're not taking on too much because you cannot be fully objective, especially when this person is very close to you. So do not take on Because the emotions, of course, will get caught up in, there you in go. all of that. Yes. yes. So do not take on the role of being a, a therapist. therapist. And you may find that you need to suggest a professional to that person or ask that person to consider seeing a professional and maybe depending on where that person is on the spe spectrum or mm -hmm. the continuum, mm -hmm. you might even offer to accompany the Them person too. for, for assessment or to talk with a mental health professional. I, I also want to share that to back up a bit, be genuine. Okay, if if you are not a people person, mm -hmm. a, a person who deeply care for humankind, don't play it because people can actually pick it up in what you say, in your body language. So that is true. If you re mm -hmm. if you really can't be there for this person, suggest someone who you know could listen to this person, but don't play as if you are there for the person, but then you're distracted on your cell phone or you're reading a book or you are, your eyes are wandering. Be there for the person. That's a part of validating Meeting the them. person. I want to say this in being sensitive to individuals with mental health challenges. Sometimes individuals are abusive. And so you have to seek the requisite help for them, for them and f protection for yourself. Sometimes the individuals are threats to themselves, like they're having suicidal ideation. They might communicate to you a plan mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or they might tell you that they're going to murder someone. Heaven forbid mm -hmm. you're listening intently. Okay. You're not going to gossip, but this cannot be kept a secret. Okay. And when you go to share with the person who can help, you're not giving the specific details of what the person would have shared with you. You're sharing enough so that that person's life mm -hmm. can be protected or the other person who okay. you believe to be at risk can also so be, be protected. protected. Okay. Okay. I thought I needed to yes. say that. Yes, yes, yes. Because I think, well, it, it, it then makes a distinction in terms of of in terms of confidentiality but at the same time if it is that you know you need to get the extra help mm -hmm. to make sure that they don't end up harming themselves mm -hmm. it's good that that distinction is made right. because people might say but if i tell somebody it means i'm betraying them but it's yes. it's not it's not a, it's not a way of betraying them it's actually right. helping that's them. right okay. that's right I cannot stress it enough. Do not make fun of individuals with mental health illnesses or challenges. Challenges. Because we are, we are on a continuum. Mm -hmm. We either have mental health or we don't. Mm -hmm. And sometimes in our lives, we are at different stage on the That's continuum true. or that the spectrum. So, so 
That is true. Don't be judgmental. It could be you. That is true. I'm I'm loving that that you said several things. You 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 told us that we need to make sure we validate individuals. Mm -hmm. We listen to help, mm -hmm. whether it is to provide the guidance or to suggest where they get the guidance. Mm -hmm. We we must try not to be judgmental. And of course, in all of this, we must ensure that we're genuine. Right. Yeah. What are some of the other mm -hmm. tips that you have to share with us in terms of how we can be sensitive to people with mental health challenges? You know, relating to, in particular, a family member, a close friend with a mental health challenge, it can be very overwhelming for you. And being sensitive, this is a, a twist. Okay. Being sensitive could mean that you need to engage in self-care activities. Mm. So do not neglect your hobbies, things that you would do to unwind, because yes, it depends on the type of, of challenge that person is having. It can be very demanding for you. And if you're burnout, you can actually snap you may actually say things to that person that you would not have otherwise have said, said to the person. So take care of yourself. That's a big one. In reaching I, out and, to these individuals. And especially in 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 this society, I think a lot of times people think that when they they take the time to engage in self care, that they're being selfish. But you can't pour from a from an empty cup. That's right. What? is the one thing you'd want to leave with our listeners if they got nothing from all of what you said just now in all of the all of the different tips that you shared what's the one thing you want to resonate or to leave with our listeners validate the person's feelings experiences it is what they are going through at that moment it's not for you to judge just to listen intently purposefully to assist this person to get through the difficult times. Thank you so much, Dr. Stewart. It was a pleasure. As you know, it's always about trying to help you to have better relationships, not just with ourselves, but with other people. Now, if the question was not answered, I'm going to trust that in some way it stimulated your mind, or at least would have helped you in starting that conversation because we will not have better relationships with people unless we remember that in some way we also do have our own mental health challenges until next time this is noreen daily you loving me i loving you mothers and fathers husbands and wives sisters and brothers Friends for life won't live in the past All I wanna do now Is making it last